Hi everyone, it's Gail and we are here for the final um, in the series of this World Bazaar journal. We are going to finish it up today. So let's say hi and hugs and get started. Hi and hugs to Jen Litz Creations, Robin, Jamie, and Irene. Thank you so much for watching and your nice comments. Okay, so we are to the last few pieces. We are also to the fluff part. So I have actually um, added on a few pages. I'm going to add some ruffles. I decided at the beginning of this journal, um, rather than putting the um, beaded, I think I'm going to put ruffles just because um, the beads are heavy and I think it's better at the back of the book. So that is what we're going to do first. We're going to get those on so they can kind of dry while we're working on other pieces. Um, and yeah, so I hope everybody is having a great day. I'm super excited to be getting to the finish line with this journal. Um, it is so crazy to me how when I do the whole thing on video, how long it takes to make a journal. <laughs> And you know me, short a short attention span here. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm very excited to be. I'm just gonna line that up from the back a little bit. Um, very excited to be getting it close to completion, and you know, because that means next project coming. And um, yeah, so so there's that one. I really like that on that page. And then I thought I would kind of draw in the purple. This one is a super thick ruffle, but I think it's I think it's fun. So I'm going to put that on this pink page. So let's see where where do we need to go to here? Right there to right down here. Granted, it takes up a little journaling space, but let's get real. This, this, this journal is, there's plenty of writing space. And it is definitely, it's definitely one that's, you know, just a fun decorated journal. But we have our writing board. We can definitely write in it too. And there, look at all that room. There's a whole piece of paper in there. There's this, there's the journal card, and there's this. I mean, even though it's super heavily decorated, there's still spots. So now we're going to put this on the purple. And we'll just, we'll just get those guys dry in a little bit. And... And then, yeah, we have a few things we need to make yet for it. <laughs> no, it's just. Yeah, and, and also, you know, the other thing is that that has taken a while is that it I didn't have a ton of um, ephemera in this style to be that was pre-made, you know. So there's that one. Then we have one more down here. I am going to put this one right down here. Let's see, where would I like to have? Maybe right there. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, there it is. Well, all of my peonies bloomed and now they're starting to fade. That's always sad for me because I really do love peonies. They just are so pretty. Yeah, I'm just going to put that there, I think. I'm asking myself, do I want one on this side now? 
because this is the middle of the signature. Let me see. I do have enough. You know what? I'm going to do it. Just going to. Okay. So I don't know if we'll have time or if it will work if I try and do it, but um, I have my little new project cart right behind me. It's just, I'm loving it, you guys. I know I talk about it in every video, don't I? But it's just so nice. Like for this journal, I have two shelves taken up for this journal because there's so many, um, so many different papers and stuff for, and, you know, and trims and whatnot for this particular journal. Get over there. Yeah, I kind of like that, having, having the both. You know, more is more here on this journal. Oh my gosh, you are a little bit, you are a little bit wonky there. You straighten yourself out okay all right so we're done with that part and we'll just let those be happy and dry okay then we're gonna flip back here um remember i last time found this piece and i thought well why not stick it in here so just have that much more journaling space so my thought was to kind of put it in like this and I um, I just received this little bit in an Etsy order and I was thinking of putting it on as a tab so that's what we're gonna do here not done with Fabri-Tac yet and it's gonna be in the spine of the journal it's gonna really bulk it up I know but I want to do it so oh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe maybe we can look and see if there's a place on an edge of a page that's a better place for it. I don't know. But um I'm just gonna glue that down first. Because it's kind of flopping up. As you cut these trims, they do get the little loose pieces that kind of need a little extra TLC, don't they? But for the most part, when you glue them down, they're good to go, so. Okay. Just wanted to put this right here as a little pull tab type of thing. So, okay, let's see if there's maybe a better place than what I was thinking. Um, something on an edge. I mean, you could put it in a pocket maybe, but that's gonna be way too tall. Just don't know that I'm gonna find a better place for it. I have some stuff stuck in here and there prepared for Oh, I gotta put it back there. Nope. Nope. Nope, that's not gonna work either. Well, one thing I could do is I could put it in this back pocket here. Maybe that's what we'll do instead. I think that would be more prudent. Oops. I really wanted it in that other place, but, you know, I just don't know that it's going to want to, that it's going to want to be there. So, let's pop it, we'll just pop it in here. And then we need something else in there yet, too. Okay, so we're just going to leave this page as it is, which I really do like, so that's okay. Okay, see, look at all that writing spots. Look at them. Oh, 
we could put a couple things there if we have anything. Um, I have these little pockets. No. What about if we just stick a couple of these pictures in here? I'm going to stick her in kind of that way and stick those two kind of in that way. Okay, now over here, we need to work on filling these pockets. My, my bead caught up in there. Okay, where is my book weight? We need that. Okay, so here's what I thought here. I have this little pocket and I put a tag in there and um, I think this would go here nicely and I really like the ribbons poking out the top. So I'm going to do that. Um, these little tickets and a label, I thought maybe I just tuck those in this, in this top pocket. And then whoever gets this journal has those to play with in where, you know, wherever they would want. And then I thought I'd back this. This I can just um, go around. I might, I might should go back and do that on those ones I stuck in that pocket too. Okay, and I'll stick that in there and then this one we need a back it so do I have a little piece of coffee dyed paper or something um, ooh, this might work hang on yeah I think this was big enough yep okay glue stick glue book This journal, I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a biggie. So, um, I will be listing this in my Etsy shop at some point the week after 4th of July. So, let's see, this, oh! Happy 4th of July! This video that I'm making right now is going to air on the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July, everybody. God bless America. So, that is the scoop on that. I'm just, I'll just randomly list it one day. The week after 4th of July, probably towards the beginning of the week. We have stuff going on. We have to get our grandson from camp and some stuff. So I don't want to commit to a time, but I'll get the pictures taken, get the listing done, and just pop it, pop it on some point, um, some point after that. Okay, so then I'm just going to give this a little dress around and this side okay and then I'm just going to slide this in there and so there that's there's that multiple pocket filled and okay so now we need a um, we need ourselves a journal card for in here and I was noticing this page is fairly pastels so I might kind of try and go with that let's see okay just sorry just moving things so I can get to my get to my scraps here um, so we're just gonna collage a, an old book page here um, and get, that's gonna be that. Oh my gosh, I'm crowding myself. You know I don't 
do very well with that. Okay, um, so this is nice. Uh, look at this. Ooh, that's good. We could do a little strip up this side. I think I've got some, definitely got some strips here. These came off some digital I was doing. So let's just do that first. Yeah, we'll just make a, a little journal card of some sort to pop there and then that will be um, that will be good. Okay, and then oh, not quite big enough, but I'm thinking I could go just like that and bada bing bada boom. We've got ourselves a journal card. There's not that much. So let's just tear this off here. I'm crafting today without Alfie. <laughs> so I can move around a little more freely. It's helpful. Okay. All right. Let's see, did I have it this way, didn't I? Okay, and then actually that's pretty sticky already. Yeah, and I have my, behind me here, I have my unfinished projects in case we run out of stuff that we're doing. Um, you know, if we get this journal done earlier than our hour, I just wanted to have a couple things in the wings so we could finish out our hour of crafting. And I do have, um, oh gosh, I have lots of stuff in that basket. I have the, the envelopes that I didn't get done from the Roxy Create or Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Oh, that's pretty. I think I can just put a a label on that, and that'll be good. Okay, so let's get um, some sort of backing. Oh, this is pretty. I've got just this piece of piece of random coffee dyed paper. So let's and I'm gonna sew around the edges of this, but it's gonna need to dry and stuff, so I don't know if I'll do it on camera, but Make it easy on myself here. Yeah, I can see. Just gonna do that on the yeah. All right, so where's my terror again? Just whip up a, ourselves a quick little journal card, huh? All right. away. Alrighty then. That's good. Now, what label would we like on there? Something across there. I'm feeling size-wise my pink monarch ones would be good. Um, and I've kind of got one I want. How about choose happiness? That's a good one. Yep, yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. 
Yep, just a quick, quick, easy journal card to put in there. Okay. Just going to put that right there. And this pretty little scrap from Roxy Creations is just decorative enough, I would say. So, just pop that right there. Okay. I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute. I think I'll just leave it out and maybe we'll be able to get that sewn around. Okay, that brings us to this page which I did a little prep for. I um, rounded corners, I inked it, and um, so this one, I just wanna put something right there and that'll go in there. And then these, I have also done tabs for these that will go in these small pockets. So, but we need to kind of look at them, see if we, you know, if we want decorations, what we want, and that kind of stuff. Let's put the tabs on. Well, I hope those of you that requested this journal be a start to finish have enjoyed it, and I hope you've um, been able to do your journals right along with me. Um, I've really, I've really enjoyed it. The, I, I just think really it's just kind of fun to break out of your normal style every now and again, you know, which I'm going to be doing again with the, um, the little hockey journal, which, um, I am not going to do the full thing on video. That was kind of the consensus. I'll just, I'll, I'll show you what I get done when I get it done as we go along or as I go along on it or something. Um, and, and, you know, I can explain what I've done and stuff. I'm, I'm so torn because these are great for writing on both sides. I might just, I might just leave those as they are. Now this one, I feel like I could have a label or something there. Um, what I'm kind of thinking of is what if we did like a definition I have the definition for lucky here let's use that and we'll back it and do a little sorry about the squeak do a little something with that that needs to be a little straighter where's my big scissors why do I use my scissors when I have my book weight? <laughs> there, just, just needed to shave a tiny bit off of that. Okay. I'm just going to go around it in a little black. And then I think I'll just put a little bit of some sort of fabric there. Um, and I'd like to use one of my bright, happy ones. Okay, these I'm going to pop in here, and they are going to be writing both sides. Yeah, I like that. And then this one we are going to continue to figure out here. Let's look here. Um, looking at this fabric just mostly because it's handy. That's kind of nice. But I'm wondering about something a little brighter. Oh, I think I like that. What if we layered three layers? Yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay. If you can't decide, use them both. 
there's there's a philosophy for you. <laughs> oh goodness, I can't get a hold of it. It's so flippy floppy. Okay. Okay. And then this one I'll go just a little bit bigger than right about here. We'll put that there and that there. Yeah. Good, good. That's what we'll do there. Okay. Um, let's see, I think I'll use Fabri-Tac for this. I want to make sure it stays down well. Home stretch, guys. Home stretch. Pop that right there. And we're going to put this little filmy one on it. Reminds me of Twinkly Stars. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is not easy. <laughs> okay. Kind of get that middle ish. Be using my spatula. Geez, I have um, glue strings like all on me. <laughs> Gonna have to let this dry for a minute before popping it in there, I do believe. Oops. Okay. That's that. Okay, so that is going to go here. Once it's dry, it will go in there. And that is not it. Oh, we have her. So cute. She's going in there. And then we have this to do yet. And then that is it. We need to fill that pocket. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, well that little page is kind of pulling that a little bit. Let's get that glued down. Part of the finishing touches are any, any sort of repairs that you kind of have to address, you know? as you're working on it you're kind of stressing some of the pages sometimes so okay so there's that okay so this one might as well kind of make it into a tag shape just a little bit and I'll ink it and we'll think about what do we want on it I'm so glad I took the time to make um, a collage roll with some of these really bright, these really bright, happy papers. And, you know, that, that really went with the style of this journal. Really good thing to do because otherwise we'd have been collaging piece by piece forever. <laughs> Okay, so what would we like on this one? We had a cockamamie idea, which was to put that right there. It's not a cockamamie idea. I like it. Although I hate to cover that up because that's beautiful. I'm going to do that. That's going to be a quick tag, but... Um, and please do, somebody made me this blue tag, so please do say, that was my tag. If you see this video. Oh, 
Okay, perfect. That is awesome. Tap down my tap down my glue. All right. So now let's see. I put that back there because I do think I just want to sew around this because I want to get I want to get done, done, done. Not just partially done. And we don't, we're only at 30. So I'm just going to pull this kind of to the side. And we're just going to quick like sew around it. Still feeling a little damp, but I think it'll be okay. Zigzag. Back to straight. Little zigzag. Straight. now there we go okay so let's give this a little inking it's a fun back to write on isn't it okay so this one Wherever our belly band is, it's right here. So this is going to go in here. Yep, I like that. That ties in nicely. Um, this, still wet. Still a little bit wet. This, we should be able to... This works out great because this is raised. It has the um, buttons and pearls, but this is a sack, so it gives. So that's awesome. And then the only other thing, this is from um, my friend Char at Char's Crafty Shop on Etsy, and I kind of wanted one of these in here, so I'm just going to pop that over that page like that. Oh my gosh, dare we say it? I think we might be done. Okay, so a couple more things. First of all, one must always sign their creations. I just am a big believer in that. I'm just looking at where might be a good spot. <laughs> this is going to be fun to write in. Okay, I am going to see if I can put the writing board there. I'd like it on the back. I would like it on the back better than the front. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna manage this. Made with love by Gail. Look how good that writing board helps. Oh my gosh, it's it's awesome. Stanelli 2021. Okay, so we're signed. That's good. Oh, we need one more thing in that back pocket. That reminded me. So let's see what we have if we have anything in our basket that will work. 
for right here. Um, I like that. That's pretty. I think this is... Sorry, it's not written on. I don't remember who made that, but... But I like that there. Okay. So that's there. Then the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to wrap it up in some of the, I think it's sorry silk fabric as a tie. But hang on here. I need to, I need to see what I have that would work. Okay, I have have some here I don't I just don't know what I have and I meant to pick something out and I didn't do it those are all too small these might all be too small too but fun to look at yeah all too small need something that's long I mean I could make like I could sew some things together maybe or something but that's what I have in my brain to do. Now I could use trim, I suppose, but um, I don't know. I just had this in my head to have it be a, no, that's not long enough either. Like all I have is snipp snippets of things, nothing long enough. close as we've gotten but but still not enough is it I mean it's almost like I need a yard um, hmm. I think I may have to We may have to go, we may have to go with some, you know, more like sorry silky type of thing. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. I think we're going to figure it out. I know we'll figure it out. But it just definitely needs a tie because it's just fat, 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 fat. And um, gosh, I've gotten sorry silk everywhere on Etsy, you guys. So just search sorry silk, S-A-R-I silk, and you'll find lots of, oh, those are all cut. Bummer. Okay. Those are like more like a, what would you call it? For a tassel or something. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. This one looks like it might be, maybe we are just meant to go with the teal. Let's hope it's one big piece. I mean, I have lots of other sorry silk out of my box of world bazaar type things but yes okay this is this is what I was hoping for okay so how would that be on here I love it because it clashes <laughs> and that's what we're all about in this book okay so let's see do I want to I mean, part of me is thinking just go double here and then whoever gets this journal, if they want to cut it down to one, they could, right? 
but if they don't, they've got they've got both of these that they and it makes it stronger. So I like that. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna fabric tack this corner right here because that's gonna get some wear. Okay. Uh, the only other thing I need to think about is do I want I you know I don't think I'm gonna do charms. I think I'm gonna just tie the middle. I might put like a bulb pin and a charm on the ribbon or something. So, oh my gosh, there it is, you guys. It's all done. Well, it looks like time-wise, we do a flip through and we are gonna be done done with this journal and done with this video. <laughs> so, oh gosh, this has been fun. Let's see, do I need to, I need to back out slightly to see the whole thing let me grab my phone there we go okay let's do a flip through and like i say week after july i'll list it and i just appreciate you coming along on the journey if you've made it all the way god bless you <laughs> okay oh i'm so happy that's just what i wanted to kind of i mean i i wanted a thicker piece of fabric to be honest but this is what we have so this is what we're going to do okay i will get that fabric checked let's do it because i don't think it's gonna it's gonna hurt my um flip through it all just gonna get that kind of fabric tacked down actually going to put even a little bit on top kind of work it down into the fibers there we go I think that'll be good because we're gonna put that piece of paper back there because that spot's gonna have stress from being tied and untied okay here we go da 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 the world bazaar journal am I in good frame I am okay so lovely pocket couple lovely tags and get them back in there and then the beautiful world bazaar kit by took at Took's craft table some journaling spot <laughs> some of my painted papers from my shop from my Etsy I've got um, a window envelope and it's got this cute little tag with this cute little girl on it and and this lovely lady showing through the window we've got my little um, what I call them five pocket woven pockets we've got a mixed media tag from me I should sign that I will I'll sign that let me just put it out like that so I remember to sign it we've got um, an altered paper clip here with journaling card in it and then we've got one of the envelopes from the kit with some beautiful purple paper in there for journaling as well ruffles got a little sack here with another mixed media tag that goes in there um, and then this big old fancy fancy dancy journaling card goes right there this page flips up for a notebook underneath there really is a lot of journaling space in this journal um this is my painted paper the the staggered pockets um that i learned from cory Dahman. we've got um a tag that i colored we've got this was a uh, piles of paragraphs tag that oops while we're while we're flipping through, I'm just gonna fix anything that needs fixing. Just needed a little extra glue on that corner. Um, yeah, so 
that was a perfect tag for in there. And then in the back of there, we have this envelope that I love that I did the embossed frame on um, old book page. And then it's got notebook paper in there once again for a good journaling spot. So she slides in the big pocket. There we go. Painted paper pocket. Um, this is one of my mixed media tags. These are actually available on my on cinnamon toast on my Etsy. Another ruffle. Some of the beautiful kit. We've got a mixed media envelope that I did years ago. Oh, and I wanted to fix this with some washi, didn't I? Yep. Oh, I'll pull out the card and we'll just stick it to the side so that I remember to do that. I just wanted to strengthen those sides. So this pretty card, just a couple little other things that I can do off camera. This is the fabric flip in here. <laughs> just opulent. <laughs> and then this pocket, it has a journaling card in the back. I mean, seriously, this journal could be an idea journal all in its own, I think. And then um, tag there and tag from the kit here. Down below our clock. This beautiful page my friend Frida at Rustic Prairie Gems did. And it's got a big old journaling card here in the big pocket here. And then um, there's a pocket here with another big journaling card. And, oh, it, you know, it flips out. It's flip out. Okay, and then um, these ruffles in the middle. And this... Um, I'm not sure, but another another crafter made that. Um, this little pocket, and, and I put one of my little mixed media tags in there with Margaret, <laughs> Margaret on there. Um, and here's the back of Frida's page, and she signed it. So I put page made by Frida Gettner. Um, then this beautiful big card we made into a side pocket with this journaling card and some fun fringe. So that sticks out the side there. Then this one, the owl with when I had my new die cut, love the die cut. We've got a couple uh, journaling card, a couple. These are all Lucky Star um scrapbook papers from Blue Fern. We made this journaling card to go right there. And we have these and I wanted to um, I wanted to distress around them. I'll stick that up. And I'm going to do these last little things right before I put it e even over on my table to photograph. Little sideways belly band with a photo and then we of course did this today multiple pocket we did our journaling card today we did this beautiful page today and this should be dry so i think we can pop that then in there and so lots of journaling space on there our little lady in the cross belly band our um sack it looks like we have a spot right here we could have another tag if I if I can see one. I don't know. Let's put this in there. This little fun little thing with pockets. There's nothing in the pockets, but whoever gets the journal can fill those up. We'll just stick that in there. Sorry, I dropped a bunch of stuff. Okay, and then we continue on. Char's Crafty Shop, the little over the page 
things. And then we've got our writing board and we've got our back tags. So that's it, guys. That is the World Bazaar Journal. I've had so much fun making it. And thank you for making it along with me. It's just been, it's been a lot of fun. So I hope you have a grateful day. And I'm just going to fin finish up the last couple things. And I'll get this photographed and it'll be in my Etsy the week after f July 4th. Have a happy 4th of July. Stay safe and have a grateful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.